and what is up friends welcome back to my channel my name is warlord mohit and in this video i am gonna tell you how to enable directx12 in apex legend enabling directx12 in apex legend is a very easy process so first of all you need to copy this code in the description so just copy this code i will provide this code in the description you can just simply copy it from there go to your steam find apex legend right click on it right and click on properties and just copy this command in your launch option you can see that i have already copied this command in my launch option so once you have copied you are good to go just go to your manage settings and then go to manage go to browse local files and you can see that directory is open where your game has been installed once you come to here you will notice something weird guys you can see that there are two apex launch icons one is r5fx and one is r5fx dx12 and you need to launch your apex legend with this file and when you launch your apex legend with this exe file you can simply see that your directx12 has been enabled so you can see guys that my game is now launched completely and to make sure that you are you, you are on directx12 you can see that on below the setting button uh, there is clearly a, a text written that is uh, that and it says directx12 beta so it says that you are running your game on direct XTL and it is still in beta phase so this is the indication here and if this option is not appearing in your uh, game then you are doing something wrong you need to watch the steps carefully okay guys so this is for the very easy steps now let's talk about the pros and cons of enabling direct XTL. so there are many advantages of uh, enabling direct XTL, like you get more fps the games feel little bit smoother and your shots will register very properly in directx 11 there is a problem your some shots uh, go uh, unregistered i don't know why it happens but in directx 12 your shots will be registering completely so there is no problem but the disadvantages of enabling directx 12 is that if you are a streamer guys or if you record your gameplay uh, you won't be able to do that in a very good state because your game will stutter too much. Uh, if you are playing Apex Legend on DirectX 12 and you are using any other application like OBS or Nvidia Instant Triple to record your game, your game will stutter very much. And I don't know why this happened. It may be because this uh, DirectX 12 version is still in beta. So that's why your game will be stutter a lot. So if you are a streamer or a regular content creator, I won't recommend you to enable DirectX 12. But if if you are some normal uh, casual player enjoying apex legend or doing rank push or something you can definitely enable and uh, direct x12 and it will give you very decent frames on a low end graphic card also and make sure that your graphic card supports direct x12 because on some graphic card direct x12 uh, does is, is not available so it will run into problem if you enable direct x12 on some graphic card like some older gen graphic card and i play on 1660 ti and i think it has a built-in direct x12 Support and it works pretty fine uh, but I won't enable DirectX 12 because I am a streamer guys and when I enable DirectX 12 the game stutters like a hell lot guys and I don't know why it happens it may be because it is still in beta but if you are a casual player you should try DirectX 12 give it a try and now let's talk about the final process how to disable directx12 suppose you have enabled directx12 and you don't like the result so for disabling directx12 just again go to your stream find your game right click on it go to properties and just remove this command okay guys if you are using any other command let it be do not remove that just remove this command that i have given you in description once you remove this command and you click on play you will launch a, you will launch your game with directx11 version and everything will be normal nothing will be changed okay guys so if you like the video uh, if you like the video and the video was something and video gave some information to you please make sure that you subscribe the channel for more content and i have also made a apex legend stretch resolution guide which is 1440 by 1080p you can go to my i button and find it there and you can watch it so you can get stretched very easily in that uh, by watching that video so we will meet in another guide uh, guide guys Thank you and see you later guys.